morning. Fuck yesterday. <clears throat> and that's just me being polite. So, on top of everything else that happened, the tooth, the package not showing up, which it didn't even get attempted, RAC died yesterday. Yeah. So, I was in the middle of doing my re-rise review. And I had my headset on, so I could just, you know, whatever. And I could hear this weird, like, whirring, loud pitch sound. And I'm like, what is that? And then I could hear the wifey yelling. She's like, baby, the AC is making a weird noise. And I'm like, what? And so I jumped up real quick, and good God, was it making a weird noise. So I turned it off. I opened it up. Uh, pulled the filter. Filter's a little dirty. Kind of dirty. But, you know, we cleaned the other weekend, so we stirred up a whole lot of dust. And I can't tell exactly what the noise is, but my first inclination is that something is clogged with, you know, whatever. So I just, I grab the vacuum, I grab a Swiffer, I grab anything I can, and I just go to town trying to clean the AC unit, because it is filthy on the inside, just from years of caked on dust on the inside of it. So I get everything off the surface that I can, and then I can get the uh, the little wand attachment or whatever inside the the actual turbine, and then using our straw cleaner, you know, which is a, a rigid pipe cleaner, I just start scrubbing all of the dirt and crap out of the veins on the inside with the vacuum there. So thinking that there's just some stuff stuck in it, and that's the problem, and I spend a good 30 minutes cleaning that out. I, you know, clean out the tray, which was full of goop, you know, like it normally is, water and goop. And turn it back on. It makes the noise for a minute, and then it, like, goes away. In the meantime, the wifey is building a puzzle, so she's, like, right there. Um, and just... I gotta get back to work. I'm already running way behind, obviously, from the previous vlog. You know what's going on, or what happened with the rest of that day. She did get her meds. Uh, she's feeling slightly better. After the, den after the dentist found out, she does have an infection in that tooth. Uh, so we gave her some, some meds to deal with the pain and try to clear up the infection. She is going Saturday to get it fixed. She could not go today. She could not get out of her internship and stuff like that. So, But the AC unit, I turned it back on, I said, look, if it starts making noise again, just turn it off, you know, we'll have them look at it, and I get back to work, and then I just go through the motions, get all the way up to about 40 minutes or so before uh, stream time, and just going about the day, and I just go through everything, we go through the, you know, two and a half hour stream, whatever, maybe longer, three hours. So it's 11 o'clock, um, I keep doing some research post-stream, looking up some stuff because I'm just wired, I may as well just keep going. So it's midnight before I even leave the cave here. I don't work Mondays, so it's fine, I'll just go to bed. And I walk out of here, mind you, I have this powerful fan here, which is probably making a lot of wind noise on the speakers, if I'm honest. So I walk out of here, and I'm like, man, it's warm, and the AC is going. And so I'm like, okay, hold on. I grab our meat thermometer, digital meat thermometer, and I just turn it on, because it's good enough that it can just detect ambient air temperature. And it says 81 degrees. I'm like, what the hell? Because I've been in here under a fan, but also in front of lights. So if I'm warm, it, it's, you know, I'm under this light, I've got the light there, I've got these on behind me, it gets warm in here during live streams, plus having the headset on, you know, you just get hot, holy shit, so that's when I'm like, okay, maybe I just have it turned up too high, like, because I turned it up a couple degrees to make sure that it wasn't overworking, we had it set kind of low-ish, it was 76 degrees prior to that, 
So I turned it down to get a little cooler, you know, around 74, 73, you know. It's, it's a minor difference, but in Texas it makes all the difference. And, well, basically, uh, it wasn't working at all. I tried turning it on, tried turning it off. I check it again. I pull the filter just in case it's just not sucking enough air. And I never once hear the, like, compressor turn on. Like, so, basically, the only thing that was coming on was the fan. No compressor. Now, I know there... And I, and I sat here yesterday, and I noticed that as it was running, the lights would dim, and then I could hear a weird noise outside. So I think it's the outside unit, because that's where a lot of that stuff is. Um, you know, the inside is basically, like, you know, where most of the work gets done, but the outside, you know, that's the heat exchanger. That's the thing that's literally trying to pump out the hot stuff and make everything cold, or vice versa. ACs work backward to the way you think they do. It's, it's a weird thing. Um... I, I, it, it's weird. It's very strange how they work uh, when you actually look at the the physics of how the cooling and heating of the Freon actually makes air conditioning work. But either way, the point is, outside, I just notice more things I need to put away. So, outside, I can hear that something weird is happening, and I can see in here the lights are dimming, and I noticed this for a couple of days. So I think that it's either like really low on Freon or the compressor is dead or as my friend said, maybe the uh, there's a capacitor that's gone out and that's like a thing that's, you know, it's a, it's a thing that helps things turn on properly. Um, so that's all possible. I just hope like, you know, every every couple of years we see people who have to have like their whole indoor unit replaced, which I wouldn't be against, except that takes days. You know, they would have to give us like portable AC units or something in the meantime, because if it's going to be 80 degrees in here at night, it's going to be 90 degrees in here during the day, even with our heavy, uh, heavy curtains and stuff like that. So that's what I'm dealing with. Um, and I still have a huge mess over here. I've got more mess on the floor because everything new I got yesterday I had to put somewhere. Um, I still got all of these things down here. So my original plan for today was to just go ahead and knock out the rest of those 52 toy reviews. Knock out uh, these Core Gundam reviews. Except now, due to an exchange with Thomas... I'm going to go get the V2 from him. He had a spare V2 he bought to do other things. And I guess knowing that I needed one, he has a spare one that's not even open yet. Um, so I'm going to go get that from him. Go ahead and knock that out today so that I can do the reviews tomorrow. Um, hopefully tomorrow. Because I'm getting good at building them at this point. It's pretty fucking easy. Um, I'm going to give him back his box of stuff that he let me borrow months ago that I didn't even finish reviewing. I had fun, but then it became more work than I thought it was going to. So I'm waiting a little bit, try to let some of the rush hour traffic, you know, the quarantine rush hour traffic clear out a little bit. I'm going to probably leave here in a few minutes, go get some breakfast and then, then head down there. But you know, this day is not going like I thought I did not sleep worth the shit last night at all. Um, so we tend to sleep sleep hot. We are overweight. It happens. I sleep hot anyways. She sleeps hot anyways. So I laid down in bed next to her for like a couple minutes and I went dizzying on work. Not even under the good fan. I'm like, she had already thrown the covers on the ground so she already knew that it was hot. Um, she was completely uncovered. Um... So yeah, it just, it sucks. It sucks a lot. So I slept on the couch. It was hot. The fan in the living room doesn't work very well. Um, at least not comparatively. Um, so I just, I'd not on a whole lot of sleep. Didn't eat dinner last night. <laughs> Um, 
the AC isn't working, and I can't. I can do what I want to do today for the most part, but it's gonna to suck to do it. Like, if nothing else, after I get back from Thomas, Thomas's house. I can continue to clean up in here because I still need to get the closet fixed from pulling everything out the other day. Hold on, I got a title this. So I'm working on the vlog from yesterday. The vlog preview to that is now live. Um, and I was going to add this footage, but I'm just going to do more footage for today as it is. Um, so yeah, literally almost everything that could go wrong yesterday did. Like this whole weekend has been a mess. It has just been a Thursday of a weekend. So, the title of yesterday's vlog is A Thursday of a Sunday. For those who don't know, some of the worst things of my adult life have generally happened on Thursdays. So whenever I refuse, whenever I get to a time of, uh, great peril, I refer to it as a Thursday. So I even made a post, um, the other day on Facebook and I said, I am really tired of this perpetual Thursday that's going on. Because it's like the whole world is having a Thursday. And not like a normal, every other part of the world type of Thursday. But a Shoki Thursday. Which is, you know, constant tragedy, basically. Um, okay, so I've got my U-Raven here. i got to do a lot of organizing. Get my U-Raven. Get my Saturnix. Saturnix! Get it over here. i got the Curios. No, oh, she's already at work. That's good. She just texted me. So I'm going to do your even and stuff like that, but I want to get all the previous ones done. All the non-core two Gundams done. Because that's the way I'm looking at it. Like, I'm using that as a division for the kits, though. It's like, is that core two Gundam related? No? Okay, good. Just going by the show, that is. Okay, so... There's Mars... Mercury, Jupiter, all together. See, the problem is that I set all this stuff right in the way, so I couldn't get to my desk for my review set. So, this is the new problem. I reorganized all that backlog to make room. Now I have too much shit. I can't even put this on the shelf. <sighs> Need to build more. So, this is, this is my problem. This year was literally just loaded down with lots of good stuff. Um, so, take a little bit of time here. Try to reorganize ever so slightly. Where does he need to go? No, he's all wonky anyways. So good. Megatron. Um, oh yeah, so I'm giving, giving Thomas the... Netflix version of Megatron, at least for the time being, we'll figure out payment. He and I tend to trade stuff back and forth, but I actually, ironically, I went ahead and bought the V2 from him and then said, hey, wait a minute, do you want this Megatron? He was like, yeah. So, well, he, he sounds like that, but that's not really what he said. Um, so, I got the Megatron from him, or for him, I got the V2 from him. But exchange some money and then we'll figure out the way it is. You know, you work sideways deals with your friends all the time. So that's what this is gonna be. It's gonna be a sideways deal. Okay. I really am tired. I would like to sleep. But I can't. It's too fucking hot. Let's make sure I got all my stuff. Keys are somewhere somewhere. Didn't even drive my car yesterday. There they are. Okay. So I'm going to head out, get some breakfast. Did she leave me any coffee? Uh, something. 
It's one of those days, man. Like, there's just, there's no other way about it. It is one of those days. It's still one of those days because my Sunday rolled all the way through over into today. <sighs> oh, yeah. And because she's kind of a butt. <laughs> She took all the ice, so when I wanted a nice cold water in the middle of the night, I couldn't have it. <sighs> Proof again how tired I am. I legit had water in the fridge that was already cold. I'm just losing it. I need sleep. I need air conditioning. So, my day is going to continue. I'll check in later. Hopefully, I can make some progress with today. All right, so it's only a little bit later, but I just finished reading the final issue of uh, Curse of the White Knight. Wow. So, for those unfamiliar, you know, I've been reading this particular series by Sean Murphy for, well, since last year, I guess, uh, whenever uh, Batman White Knight began. And so, Curse of the White Knight was a sequel to that, and really threw some wrenches into the Batman lore. Um, okay, video is still processing. Um, and all I can say is just, wow. Um, just wow. Like, it's just that good. But I'm going to go run to the gas station. <sighs> Maybe I'll take Arthur's box with me while I'm at it. I'll go run to... Uh... I'll go run to the uh, UPS store while I'm out. Send Arthur's box out. Where is my mask? That's annoying. So, basically just knock out a bunch of errands all at once today. If I'm going to be out, I might as well do it. So, I need his ma or his box. Arthur's box. I need my box. Where the fuck is my box? Stupid, bad postal worker. Like, you know what? It's like, I'll, I'll even say it. In my own job, I've never been 100%. You know, I've had bad days. I've had weird situations. I've had mistakes where I couldn't find a place just due to circumstance. But this is one of those times where it's literally like, Dude didn't try and then lied. That annoys the bejesus out of me. That scissors, I forgot where those were. Okay, I guess I'll have to wear a crap mask. Yeah, so $14 for this thing of masks and at least half of them have broken upon application. So gonna do that so boxes breakfast tacos other stuff so, all right some minutes later <sighs> too hot for all that so I'm at the house of Rodimus and I have a Venus a Venus is this is Gundam Venus is this is so, all that, so about an hour drive just to come swap that out, you know, swap a box of his stuff for that. So, just real quick, back and forth, I'm tired, time to go home. I got to pop Arthur's box, which is back there, so, but at least I have air conditioning in here. It's hot as balls outside, but at least I have air conditioning in the car. Ugh. I finally ate breakfast. While I was at it, I grabbed some breakfast tacos. So, got some water and things. It's it's gonna be a long damn day. Long damn day. So, back home. Sorry, I was listening to Spotify. I'm home, uh, that took a while. I did stop off at the office real quick and grabbed a 
new air filter, which I just realized, like, you know, it's obviously been at least a month since I changed the air filter. They have, like, new air filters, like, good ones, not like the, like, garbage, cheapo, $2 ones. Um, like, the good kind, so. I mean, it's not going to do any good now, but it's cooler than it is outside, but it's definitely not cool in here. It's still about 80, 81, 82 degrees, um, and that sucks. So, I'm home, I'm gonna eat this chocolate pie real quick, and then I'm gonna go get started on this guy. I'm also gonna edit, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna edit the uh, in the kitchen video from yesterday, so that I can put that out tomorrow. I don't know why I like in the kitchen videos on, on Tuesdays. But, God I hope they come soon. It's like 11 o'clock and they have not come. But they did get an email, or did get an email that said they uh, are sending someone. They have submitted the work order. Like I said, at the AC stuff, they tend to react pretty quickly because people can die. Like, I mean, I probably won't, but people can die from not having AC. This is Texas. And given that it's like gonna be a hundred some odd degrees in a couple hours, you know, it, it's a thing. It's a thing that matters. Um, why is this? It just doesn't focus. I don't know. Put that down. I don't know if that helped. It's the lighting, I'm sure. I did uh, drop off Arthur's box at the UPS store real quick. I like the the like social distancing measures they've taken to keep people back from the counter. They like have a whole like border of like large boxes to keep people back. Um, but that's a great thing about being able to print labels at home. Which I wish I just had a regular label printer. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, stuff. I wish I had a regular label printer, um, which would be cool. But you know printer printer can do the thing um but i will tell you if you use if you do it from home it's generally cheaper than if you go to a ups store to ship something now you can always do the thing where you call it in they come and do the thing that's annoying don't do that unless you're in a weird remote spot that isn't easy for you to drop off or you don't see a ups driver or whoever on a regular basis so i've been shipping stuff forever USPS, FedEx, whatever. I used to have a UPS account because I was shipping stuff like several times a week uh, to the point that they almost almost gave me a business account. Um, so anyways, uh, to get to the point here, if you do it on your own, if you, if you, if you have your own box or whatever, the weight is usually a guesstimate. Um, but if you input all your own stuff, it's generally cheaper. Plus... You get coupons on the internet that tend to make things cheaper, like the one I use is Ship and Save, all one word. Um, honey is usually pretty good if you don't use the Honey extension on your browser. Honey, come come sponsor. I use your stuff all the time to get discounts. For some reason, it doesn't automatically do it. I think UPS is sort of blocking it. I think I something in my mouth. Sorry. Um, Either way, uh, that saves like at least 10 to 20% depending on the thing. Um, so Arthur's box was going to be like 15 some odd dollars to ship. Put in the code, it's instantly 13. It saved me a decent amount of money a couple times, so um, it just depends. Either way, uh, printing your own labels at home, just taping it to the box. I don't, I just, ugh, I don't know what's going on here. Probably hair in my mouth from wearing a mask. Um, but yeah, I talked to Rodimus for just a little while. Uh, so normally he's not at home. Normally he's at work. So the reason why this worked out today for me going to get the V2 and all that stuff is that he decided to stay home sick. Apparently his wife had a stomach bug uh, this weekend. I guess people at his work potentially had a stomach bug this weekend or last week. So now it's his turn. Um, so he's, he had a, he had a negative fever. It's a thing. Um, and he's just overall not feeling good down below, so to speak. Um, so that's why he was able to stay home and do the thing. But hey, I got me a cool new V2. So now I have every current version of a core Gundam. He doesn't. So that's a, that's the important part is that I'm beating him and having core conditions. 
<laughs> it's always about competing with your friends and having more things than they do. That's how friendship works, right? Right? So, um, I do think this one's going to require a tiny bit more paint than the previous ones. Um, just judging by the details, I'm going to have to... But is it going to be gray? I bet it's going to be gray. I need my eyes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put this side. It's probably more gray than black, so I'll have to bust out my dark gray colors. Is what it is. So if you're gonna work on that, please, please, please come work on the AC sometime soon. It's just too fucking hot. Like it just it is. And I'm drinking water. I have a, I have Red Bull. I have watermelon Red Bull for when I inevitably get sleepy here in a few hours. Um, this is normally like nap time. Like normally it's eat lunch, nap time. But because I literally just got home from running around, it's not nap time. Um, but either way. I'm going to go in here and do the thing. Now, the thing that sucks is I have to turn the light on. <laughs> I guess I got to upload the vlog, huh? Or the, uh, yeah, the vlog I just edited. It's funny. So, come in here under the good fan. It's all good, fan. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me, my children. Okay, you're not my children. I'm sorry. Um... Get things ready. I need a new blade. So, hold on. Ah, lights. Sorry, I didn't warn you. And you were like looking up at the ceiling. I apologize. Uh, Sunday stuff. Ah. So, guys, um, if you're building enough, you generally go through X Acto knives pretty quick, or blades rather. Um, so, I usually get these like 15 packs. Like, instead of spending the extra money on what they claim is a more durable and long-lasting blade, which is usually bullshit uh, from what I've seen. I buy these. It's like 11 bucks for like 15 of them, so. And then I keep the semi-dull ones for other purposes, like scoring or cutting open boxes because I can't find my other knife anywhere nearby. Uh, what do we got here? What do we, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, looking at Facebook, this is what we're doing. We're looking at Facebook. Because I've been gone all morning. I'm getting comments on things. None of my own posts just replies to people. Nah, that's a weird thing. Apparently there's a Ninja Turtle comic that's coming. Where there's now the lone Ronin is remaining. The only turtle survived after somebody killed them all. And it's a mystery as to who it is. So you get this image here of uh, three ghost turtles leaning over. Now, the thing is, people are debating as to which turtle survived and is this lone ronin. Um, well, he's got everyone's weapons, so he's using everyone's weapon to get revenge, so to speak. Um, I think there's only one of them who would have the discipline to actually learn everyone else's weapons. Not to mention he already has a blue tint to everything. Now, it does look like it could be Don Donatello or... I got stuff falling down. Or uh, Leo, but I'm pretty sure it's Leo because it looks like he's wearing all blue. Um, but then again, maybe he's just going for a darker, stealthy color. He's wearing full-on clothing instead of just basic... Uh, very basic wraps and stuff like that. So he's got one sword, one the bow staff. It looks like he's got doesn't have a sigh. He's got a uh, baton thing. I forgot what are the, what are those called? Um, and no nunchucks, seemingly. But it's got blood all over it, so that's interesting. So who knows? It's a new thing coming. Um, yeah, I'm in the sport. Okay, so that's. That, that's that, that's that, that's that. Okay, so I'm going to go to the YouTubes and pull up something to watch while I build the V2. I need clean brushes, don't I? Damn it. Don't you guys love it when I do these really low angles where I'm staring up at the ceiling? I think we have cold air feeling cooler in here. 
Um, I'll turn that on and find out. 78! It's getting colder in here. Um, it was kind of what I said. The compressor was not turning on outside. So whatever something out there, I know I heard him messing around with some tools. I heard a you know, he did a drill thing. Uh, something wasn't connected and something did a thing. <coughs> Either way, we have air conditioning now. It's cool in here. I've been, also been sitting under a raging torrential fan. So, um, yeah. Yeah, just pee. What of it? Um, washing one hand at a time. Look at my pores. Good lord. Anyways, um, so air conditioning's working. Working. You know how things working in. Uh, he did say he's going to get us a new thermostat because that's a really old piece of junk. Um, and it is, and I hate it, and I run a digital one, damn it. Um, I feel like half the issues we have with our thing is how old the thermostat is. Um, what's going on here? Okay, fixed it. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, I'm making progress. I just started on the Venus. Venus! Yeah, I don't know why I wanted to do that. Um, I just started doing the same thing that I've done for every one of these kits, and that's panel lining and painting black detail. So every single one of them, well, virtually every single one of them, up until like the new ones, have the exact same details painted on every one of them. I've said every one of them three times now. So that's the thing. So, brain fart. Um... I think I'm going to work on that for a little while longer, at least get the core Gundam built, because I've got that process down pat. The armor and the core Gundams go together the same. Oh, I've already got the weapons built. And then I just need to... This. So, like I said before, once I did... Uh, or once I pulled that stuff out to sell, um, I ended up with a bigger mess. Put this back over here where it belongs. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, this is the puzzle that the lovely, lovely Mrs. Shoki is working on. So, she likes puzzles. We've done many, many of them. And frankly, she needed a creative release. That's something that, she, she's not a super creative person like myself, but everyone needs something along those lines. You need something to get out of your head. And the fact that, you know, she has a really hard time right now due to the fact that She's still attempting to get as many hours as she can at actual work while stupid bugs, while trying to get her uh, internship done. So she's doing six to eight hours of internship, doing a few extra hours of work, using all her saved up PTO to pay the difference, and then every other day doing her normal job, and then going to work for like seven or eight hours on Saturday to just make sure she's making enough money and she's getting school done it's hard but it's one of those things that when you really buckle down and do it it's ultimately going to be worth it it's going to suck for the next eight weeks um mostly for her but you know um just trying to stay afloat and it ain't it's not going to be easy we'll get by we definitely will um but I do know that it's just going to be rough on her. I want some mustard. I'm going to make myself some not real sandwiches here. With some leftover biscuits and some cheese. Just to get a little bit more food in me. Like I said, I did eat breakfast on the way to Thomas's. That was a few hours ago. I'm not going to lie. I might nap. I'm going on pure force of will and a little bit of Red Bull. So. Non shutterable. Okay. Oh, by the way, um, I don't know if I showed this. So I got that at work. It doesn't look that bad, but like it it stung really hard. And doesn't crud there. Um, the one thing about that particular injury, I'm gonna set the phone down like dummy. There we go. One thing, one particular thing about that injury. 
Um, it's basically paper cuts, you know, because I deal with a lot of boxes and cardboard and whatnot. And so I'm guessing I did that while picking something up at work on Saturday. So, <laughs> don't feel it happen, but then you feel it when the sweat hits it. Yeah. And not only that, later in the day, like once I already knew it was there, you know, I go to throw some hand sanitizer on my hands, because, you know, I get around, I gotta touch a lot of things. So I get an exorbitant amount of hand sanitizer, so I'm like, zrip. Pure hand sanitizer right on a fresh paper cut. I thought I was about to jump out that truck. Um, it was an unpleasant feeling is what I'm getting at. Um, and then of course showering later also sucked. And I don't think I covered this in the previous vlog. So my face when I got off work Saturday, you can probably see a little bit of redness. If I could ever get in some light here. It's kind of a problem with this whole setup right now. Um, it felt like a sunburn. It was actually more of a friction burn with some sunburn. Not gonna lie. Some sunburn happened here. Um, so I took a shower. And if you've ever taken a nice hot shower with sunburn, uh, you know how it feels. So I decided to get some of her moisturizing, like body wash and face wash. So I go over my poor friction burn and sunburn cheeks and forehead and all those things. And as I do this, it's like, okay, it hurts a little bit, but you know, I'm not good. I rinse my face off. Fine. So I get out of the shower and I'm thinking, okay, I should probably do a little bit more to moisturize because I know my face is just really dried out and very uh, kind of rubbed raw. So the only thing that she's got around that I think is a good idea is some witch hazel. It's a good idea. Not, it's an alcohol free witch hazel. So I get a little alcohol pad, I get it on there, and I go, dunk, dunk. <laughs> It felt like my face was on fire again. Um, so I don't know exactly what that means when you put witch, witch hazel on your skin and it burns, you know, like it's holy water. Um, does holy water burn you guys when it gets on you? Just asking for a friend. Um, yeah, that tastes like paint. Mm, that's probably what it go. Um, anyways, air conditioning's working. I keep saying working. I think I'm having a brain hole. Is that what it is? Brain hole? Yes. Still no package. I'm gonna say it. I am thinking that like, my package that I'm waiting on is not going to come. I feel like that dude, like, really just screwed my package over by doing what he did. Because even the last couple days has shown zero progress. It bothers me. And it said next business day. You know, obviously that's going to be during the week. But they operate, they operate seven days a week. You know, and as I stated in the vlog yesterday, they they function on Sunday for the explicit purposes of delivering Amazon packages. And my package was not even attempted, was not even brought out. And I went to the mailbox earlier just to make sure they didn't try to cram it in the mailbox. Because I feel like this particular person might be that big of a jerk. Now, ultimately, I'm hoping that my normal driver comes back. Because, well, that's just the best thing ever if he does. 
or at least one of the two that I normally get. It will just come drop my stuff off and not even knock on the door. So I, look, I just check outside after 3 p.m. and hope for the best. Because I usually make one shift around 10, 10.30, sometimes a little bit later. Another one around, or between 3 and 5. I'm getting very annoyed because I really want this particular thing. I'm going to eat. I took a short nap. But prior to that short nap, piece of shit. <sighs> Sorry, indigestion. I don't know where to set up the camera. I'm gonna go right there and hope for the best. You stay right there. So, I could technically add this to the end of kitchen footage, but I don't wanna. Also, not gonna lie, I really wanna go back to sleep. Although, I had to finally stop the AC. Um, <laughs> I think I was trying to get down to like 70 degrees in here. I'm I'm legit cold right now. Which is why it was so easy to kind of take a nap. There we go. We have more little Maddies. This is the glow in the dark one. It's pretty cool. I don't usually like glow in the dark stuff, but I said fuck it. And then we have the sour apple. This is cool. It's literally all I was waiting on for this stupid, stupid video. Yeah, my body is still kind of in nap mode, I think. If I knew I could do it for like just an hour, I probably would. Um, let's let's see something else. Stare at the ceiling. Just 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 stare at the ceiling. It's fine. It's fine. Watch. Keep staring at the ceiling. Keep staring. Intense glow, motherfucker. Dad. Good lord. This is like glowing. Look at that. That's awesome. Yeah. I think mean, like glow and dark stuff this is just cool that it does it. Okay, what the balls. Many hours later, a couple hours later, I finally finished it. So I think I might be correct in making the assumption that I have now surpassed Rodimus in his core Gundam having. <laughs> Oh, that's true because I have the uh, because I have um, the A the Alice core, so I already had one extra that he didn't have. So now I've got hold on, I got Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter done. So that's all the original five, I believe. Hold on. Mercury. I gotta think about five. Yes. Jupiter is five. Jupiter. So, with the Alice core, I think I've technically surpassed the Rodimus. So, I got those five done. I actually kind of enjoyed the Venus. I don't know why. It's weird. Um, I do think it's kind of stupid 
Mercury is the only one that doesn't come with a core Gundam to itself. Um, it, it, it's stupid. It really is to me. Well, correction. It's the only one of the original five that doesn't come with it. Obviously, Saturn Boy here doesn't because we're only going to stick with the one core Gundam 2. Alright. Okay, so now I'm going to run to... Uh, uh, I run to the store real quick. Is this my mask or her mask? I think it's mine. Yes, I'm smelling the mask to make sure it's fine. You know your own smells. Um, so that means when I... Oh, crap. So that means when I come home, uh, I need to edit the... Uh, the In the Kitchen video. It's the thing I forgot to do. That nap helped and didn't help at the same time. I could have used like a three-hour nap and I didn't do it. So I need to edit all that stuff. And I guess while it's outputting... I can clean a little bit. She's got a lot of homework to do. She She's at regular work. And got a lot to do. So. <coughs> yeah. Sudden coughing disease. So, I'm gonna do some Italian tonight. Lucky her. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm not sure exactly how long she'll be. So I wanted something that I didn't have to so carefully deal with. Is this glare good enough for you? I think it is. Look at all the shaking of the camera. Freaking lasagna. Um, let's see, how long does this one take? Uh, put it in the microwave for three and a half hours. No, just kidding. Like, no joke, I, I've never cooked a good sized lasagna in a microwave, like a personal one, you know, like a Hungry Man or something like that, but okay. Leave film on tray, do not van, place tray on baking sheet, sent to Rex 70 minutos. I can do that. Wait, what was the temp? 375? 375, I can do. Okay. But this way, I can just set it and forget it. I'm a big fan of that. Is he still working? Look at my ceiling. Okay. Look at the ceiling, y'all. Okay, let's just set this up here for a second. Um, but this also gives us two meals, you know. So this is, I don't know, like it's, it's a big, thick boy. It might get us through tomorrow. We're gonna go full on grocery shopping tomorrow. Uh, turn your extension, ramping a sheet from oven, let's stand five minutes. I mean, got good. Okay. Don't touch. So, I realized that I need to edit the in the kitchen video, so I'm gonna go do that now. Motherfucker. I don't know if you guys can see that. Seems like every summer we get these freaking sink gnats. I don't know. I don't know how to deal with them. I don't know if you guys do. So it, it's just that. Normally, what I'll do, as I've done in the past, put out a little cup full of water and some dish soap and then add some uh, vinegar and some honey to it, and usually that will kill off a lot of them. Because they go for the vinegar slash honey, and then they die from the soap. So, funny enough, they don't die from like ingesting it, they get trapped in the soap, can't get out, and then they just die. So, I might have to do that again. But right now, I need to go to the bathroom, and then get back to work. I don't know. I need I need to feel accomplished today given how the last couple days have gone. I just need to feel like I've gotten something done. I'm feeling better, but that might be the two Red Bulls I've had today. So, bathroom time. Yes, it's twice in the same vlog. I've had to end a clip going into the